everybody welcome back to my channel okay so this is my third time trying to record this video the first time um, one of my eyelashes was like all the way off and I almost all the way off I didn't even notice it the second time the electricity ran off and I'm depending on this fan right here to keep me cool and the third time the lawnmower went off in the background so that was gonna cause a major distraction and ruin my video and it was in my own yard so it's not like oh those people over there no those people over here I will, I'm gonna call this video my favorite hair products video although not everything in or not every item in this video is go is one of my favorites you know what I mean but it's what I use on my hair and please keep in mind that I do live in the Bahamas and you may hear me say oh I don't buy a particular product because it's expensive when you're like oh but it's only $10.99 well it costs sometimes it costs double that by the time it gets to the in, in the country so, okay so without further ado I will get started okay this is the shampoo that I use it is the cream of nature argan oil sulfate free moisture and shine shampoo um, hydrates and detangles now this is one of my favorites because it's just very moisturizing I don't have dry hair after I wash my hair I'm, I'm comfortable with the shampoo I've been using it now for like let's say since, really since I got them from college so that would be like two years now if you ever feel the need to use a clarifying shampoo or maybe a shampoo with sulfate because your hair has a lot of build up on it um, it's good to follow up with a moisturizing shampoo shampoo because the sulfate shampoo strip your hair so much of the goodness and the oils and the moisture that you need to put it back in so I would recommend this Shea Moisture Moisture Retention Shampoo was also a staple of mine when I was in college but I had to stop using that because I loved it mind you and I would use it again in rotation with this um, but a bottle of that I think you can get it for $15 and up but why, why would I pay $15 for a shampoo when I can get something that works just as well for less you understand what I'm saying like I don't like to pay a lot of money for hair products that's that's not my thing so let's move on to rinse out conditioners. There are four main conditioners that I use, and I will start off the one, with the one that I use the least. And it's the Suave Naturals Tropical Coconut Infused with um, Coconut Extract and Vitamin E Conditioner. Okay, so I use this one to co-wash. Now, I barely, barely, barely co-wash my hair anymore. I probably do it more in the summer months when I'm much more free because by the time if I decide that I want to co-wash my hair when I get home in the evenings because sometimes like I may get home at three or sorry or shortly after three or I might stay back after school at mark till five and even by the time I get home six o'clock I'm I the first thing I want I don't want to go in the shower and co-wash my hair so that it'll be dry by the next morning so even if I end up co-washing it's not until late in the evening and then sometimes my hair doesn't dry or sometimes I don't do um, my twist outs don't come out that well when I do them on wet hair um, the, the, it, it looks very frizzy very frizzy when I do it on wet hair and if I go to the gym and I get back eight seven eight nine o'clock sometimes co-washing my hair then becomes more of a chore so that's why I don't do it anymore but if I ever co-wash my hair this is what I use because it's cheap and it's lightweight so it won't weigh down my hair so the next one I love is Aussie Moist and, and it has the silicones in it so that it gives me nice slip when I'm in the shower I like silicones okay they say that they are bad for you but I like them because they give me the slip that I need when I condition my hair um, Sorry, when I detangle my hair in the shower. Sometimes I detangle before I go into the shower to wash my hair, but that's only when I actually deep condition before I go into the shower, and I don't always deep condition. Actually, when I bought this bottle, I was so excited because they don't they don't sell this in Nassau, okay? I I don't know I don't know why, but they don't sell this in Nassau. When and I know a lot of naturals would love to have this product, but they don't sell it. When I first bought this and I started using it on my hair, I was kind of hurt because it didn't feel as moisturizing and I didn't get that nice slip that I got when I used it in the States. So I was kind of disheartened about that. But I'm going to show you another product which I use, which when I went back to using this, it, it, it did the job. And now this is what I've been using for the past couple of months. So the next one I use is from the Tresemme brand and this one is a Tresemme clean and natural gentle hydration for non-color treated hair now they don't make this anymore I've went online and um, tried to find it but it's I think it's been discontinued it does have silicones in it it oh god it feels so good I don't know I don't know why they stopped making this I guess people didn't like it as much as I did but another favorite of mine is also the Tresemme naturals with I think aloe and I'm not sure. I think I'll vitamin E. But I also, that's another one of my so favorites. 
the last rinse out conditioner that I want to talk about is the Afoji. <laughs> oh. The Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor. Okay. Add strength and softness in one step, quick and effective against heat and chemical damage. pH optimized contains exclusive profitamine. I don't know, complex. This is basically a protein treatment. But at a certain point, I noticed that my hair, um, like I would wash it, condition it, um, do a twist out or sometimes a braid out and wear, just wear my hair in a pop like how it is now. And then two days later, my hair would be dry and I'd be like, what? Um, because usually my my hair is moisturized for the whole the whole week and I just maybe spritz it with water in the morning and I'm good because I use I use products with glycerin that's why I don't get much definition with my two cells most of the time because I, I use products with a lot of glycerin or with gly not well with glycerin as like the second or third or fourth ingredient the dryness is what got me okay maybe I needed a um, clarifying shampoo maybe that's what I needed but I, I didn't I didn't go that route anyway so I bought this okay and this changed everything oh, and I use it for like three washes and you know if my hair is the snapback was real okay so remember when i was telling you that this awesome moist did not work like how i wanted it to work after i used this this was working i don't know what it was but that's how it happened so i will always be indebted to this product oh another thing is protein treatments don't work on everybody for some people, this might be too much. I advise you to do some research, and if you're gonna buy this, buy a, the smallest bottle you can find, and then try it out, and then go from there. Or, or, or get something lighter. But I, I just know that a lot of people don't like this, but I love it. This is the only leave-in conditioner that I've used um, for a long period of time now, besides the Shea Moisture leave-in conditioner. I don't know. But it's the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-in Conditioner Repair Cream. Um, I've been using this for the bulk of my natural hair journey, so that's like about five years. Time. What I love about it is how lightweight it is. What really stopped me from using the Shea Moisture um, conditioner was the fact that it was so heavy because I stopped using the Shea Moisture even when I was in the States when I could have gotten it for like $10 or the $2 for $10 with Walgreens and whatever it tends to have. But yeah, don't use this on your dry hair. Okay, it's a lot of people complain about it leaving a white residue. I use this on wet hair only, and it's nice and lightweight. I don't have to use a lot at all. Just put it on and then twist my hair, and then you know, move on. So I think we can move on to stylers and creams, um, stuff like so that. One of the first styling creams that I've ever used was the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Now I love this stuff, even though I don't use it as much now. Oh, it smells so nice. It was after using this product that I decided if my if my styling aid didn't have glycerin in, glycerin in it, I knew it wasn't going to be moisturizing. So I like my styling aid to be moisturizing because it's what it would help. It is what helps me um, retain moisture in my hair. Okay. I think I don't know if they've um, revamped this formula, but it has deionized water, shea butter, coconut oil, macadamia seed oil, mango seed butter. Avocado oil, vegetable, glycerin, okay, and aloe with some silk proteins. I also tried out the Design Essentials Natural Defining Cream Gel. Now, I love, I think this is almost done now, yeah, but I love the consistency of this product. It's like a cream gel. So it's soft, but it still has that that hold. This is a little expensive for how um, small the jar is. The ingredients are... Aqua water, sorry, olive oil, glycerin, and um, some other stuff. But it has glycerin in the first three ingredients, which I liked and which prompted me to purchase this. Okay, so this is the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Coconut Curling Cream. Defines and moisturizes dry, damaged hair. Okay, no sulfate, silicones, parabens, or mineral oil. First uh, three ingredients are water, canola oil, and glycerin right up my alley okay I just started using this this is what I actually use on my hair this is the type of hair I have I can't get like definition definition from using a product that has glycerin that's moisturized this is really good for moisture um, I paid $15 for this thing I don't know what I was on but I actually paid $15 for this so next one is also by the same brand the Cantu moisturizing twist and lock gel okay locks and moisture for silky smooth twists and locks controls frizz with a lightweight non-flaking formula 
first ingredients are water, PVP, fragrance, some other things, coconut extract, shea butter. The main benefit you're going to get from this is not going to be moisture. It's going to be hold, okay? Twist and lock gel. You know what I'm saying? So if you want that moisturizing uh, effect, perhaps mixing it with the curling cream would help. I have one deep conditioner that I purchased in store and I see organics. Her mayonnaise, okay, treatment for weak damage, dry hair with organic herbs, olive oil, and egg protein. So, okay. The ingredients are aqua, water, glycerin, mineral oil, and some other stuff. Okay. Back in the day, I used to get this mixed up with the organic boot stimulator one, which does not have mineral oil. It's better, it is better, but um, it costs much more. And I use about half of this jar in one um, in one deep conditioning session. So I can't spend 11 $12 plus back for something that I'm going to use twice or three times. No, 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 no. But, other, but for deep conditioning, I tend to do my own thing. Sometimes I do honey, sometimes I do yogurt with honey and some other stuff and olive oil. I do some mayonnaise with uh, different oils and stuff. So I, I usually stick to homemade deep conditioners because the mayo is going to stay in the fridge for forever. So let's move on to gels. I, these are the two main gels that I use. The Eco Styler Olive Oil Styling Gel and the Aloe Vera Gel. Now, so I put this on my ends and then I um, wrap it around my perm rod to help me get this curl right here. I guess you can use the other type of gel for that too, but I find that the Eco Salad gives kind of a crispy feel even though it's alcohol free. It doesn't flake, but it, I don't want that crispy feel. Now I know some of you are going to get on me for this, but I have a bottle that I'm pro, so sitting around. I use this because sometimes I want my hair in one and I want it sleek okay, and I want it to lay flat. My hair has a problem laying flat it always wants to first back up especially because in the front i had some damage before from like rope twists some senegalese twists but anyway when i went to take them out it took out some of my hair with it so my hair in the front section of my hair is kind of short and it doesn't it, it always wants to lift up and usually after i use this ampro and i have my hair in one about a day or two later i wash my hair so it's never just sitting on my hair just sucking all the moisture out okay? i guess this counts as a gel edge control but so this is the type of edge control I use I rarely use this I mainly use this when I'm wearing a wig of some sort and I need to you know make sure those edges click so that I can blend with the with the straight hair or whatever type of hair I'm wearing so yeah so the last thing I'm going to show you all are the two gels I guess I can say I used to use on my hair because I don't use them anymore keep in mind now that I went natural in Minnesota and you know it's very it's very cold there most of the, most of the time and um, it can be very drying for your hair. So I would use oils and stuff to keep my hair moisture. Well, to lock in the moisture, rather. The main and only one I used to use is the castor oil. Okay. Now, when I got to a more sunny climate, more humid climate, I found that it would just, my hair was just so heavy and oily and like, no. So I opted for a lighter oil. Um, grapeseed oil and for a while I was using this and even this would I, I didn't like that feel even though it's lightweight so I just stopped using oils all together the only time I use oil the only oils that my hair sees are the oils that are in my hair products which maybe that's enough so I don't use oils on my hair anymore to steal in anything so I've been through quite a number of foam wrap set lotions trying to find something that would work when I went to do my flex zero sets or perm wrap sets and this is the one the only one that worked for me all the other ones left my hair dry. That, you know that feel that you get sometimes get from foam wrap set lotions? That feely feel, okay? It's like a crusty feel. So I've been eyeing this and thinking of buying it, but it was kind of expensive. Like, I think it was like $12 versus, I don't know, seven eight dollars And this is the one I used on my most recent Flexi Rod Set. And it's, a, it's the closest I've come to having a successful Flexi Rod Set. Anyway, what's different between this and the other ones I used is that it doesn't have protein in it. My hair doesn't like the protein when it comes to um, flexi rod sets or perm rod sets. So I've used this once, um, and this is how much is left. I mean, how much I use. So one, two, three, four, five. 
So you can get like five uses out of it, which is not so bad. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Two days later, my hair would be dry. The thing was that, like my egg and my honey and... I'm just gonna wait for this dog to calm down, okay? That's not my dog. My dogs are over here chill. They're chilling out. That dog has an issue. The other one is Cancer Shea Butter for Natural. Well, it's for natural hair. Calm down.